ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. My unicorn, Violet, and I have enjoyed our stay, but we are on our way home to the faraway land of Agape. And this looks like the perfect place to stop for a snack. So here we are, Violet, just a couple old friends on the road again. On the road again. Hello, 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 Monsieur. <laughs> hello, fellow traveler. Comment allez-vous? I, I won't tell on you either. No, no, I said, comment allez-vous? Oh, you poor creature, you don't speak English. Well, hello. I am Prince Loves a lot. What is your name? I am French, Monsieur, oh. not deaf. <laughs> oh, my apologies, my European friend. Would you care for a carrot stick? Oh, no, thank you, my oh. Friend, okay. no, but I may have something you might like. Oh, yeah? You know, I could not help but notice that crown on your head. Oh, thank you. I am a prince, you know. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> and so you must know what all of the fashionable princes are wearing this season. A raspberry beret? No, the kind you find in a second-hand store? No, that is so 1985. Oh, forgive no. me, I'm a... Today's well-dressed prince is wearing this. Oh, a party hat. Oh, Look at that, that huh? is so much more than a party hat. That is a chapeau de soiree. Oh. And it is on sale today for only one gold coin. Well, I have some gold coins. Of course you do. Hold it right there. Hand oh, over all oh, your my. gold, Prince Charming. Oh, no, my name is Prince Loves a Lot. Prince Loves a Lot? I yes. met Prince Loves a Lot one time. Oh, I thought you looked familiar. You are that famous thief, Robespierre. <laughs> Oh, so good to see you it's again, my old you friend. <laughs> now, I'm afraid I must ask you to give me all your treasure. Oh, I didn't bring too much. All I have are a few Capri Suns, some carrots, and my Nintendo 3DS. Oh, what is in this box? Oh, this is the greatest treasure of all, oh. God's word. Here, let me get it out. Magic box! Oh. I must have it! Here, hold this. <laughs> oh no, silly ah, fellow. How do you make this the, sing? The Thank box you. is not the treasure. The treasure is found inside God's word. See? <laughs> That's unbelievable! <laughs> oh, you can believe it, and every word in it is true. Mm. That's a promise from God. All right. Shall I read some to you? Yes, please. I love story time. All right. Well, this is a perfect story. It's about two men who are walking along the road. Oh, that's just like us. <laughs> exactly. Now, these two men were walking along a road to a town called Emmaus. Oh. And guess who started walking with him? Was it Perry the Platypus? <laughs> no. It was Jesus. Oh, I have heard of this Jesus. Yes. Some people call him Lord and Savior. Yes, and I call him King. <laughs> now, this story takes place after Jesus had died. What? Jesus appeared after he had died? How, uh, that, how can that happen? Oh, God had raised him from the dead. He had been resurrected. Is that possible? With God, nothing is impossible. Oh. This was the same day that Jesus rose from the dead. All right. But the men didn't know that. They thought that he was still dead. They were sadly talking about how they hoped that Jesus would be the redeemer who would save their people. And did they jump? all over him and give him a big hug on his neck when they saw him? <laughs> no, they didn't know who he was. God had kept them from recognizing him. Sacre bleu. <laughs> now Jesus told them all of the things the Bible says about his life. The whole Bible, all the way back to Moses, points us to Jesus. It even predicted how Jesus would suffer before he entered into his glory. And then did Jesus tell them who he was? 
No, oh. but they invited him to dinner. Did they have French toast? <laughs> no, just bread. Wow. Jesus broke bread with them just as he did with his disciples at the Last Supper. Oh, so Jesus had done this before. <laughs> yes, and the Bible says, Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he disappeared from He disappeared? Their where is he? <laughs> Jesus, where did you go? They didn't know, but they knew that he was the Lord and that he had risen. Ooh. They said that their hearts burned inside of them when they talked to him. Maybe it was the French toast. Maybe it was the excitement of meeting Jesus and knowing that they would meet him again. Oh, yes. Uh, well, uh, how did they know that they would meet him again? It's another promise from the Bible that if we believe in him, then we will see him again with our own eyes. Hmm. Well, it was good seeing you again, Ropes Pierre. I'm on, I'm on my way. But wh wh where are you going? Violet and I are going to walk along this road. Well, I, I want to come. <laughs> I want to know more about this Jesus and, and see him one day. Oh, what am I thinking? What use would Jesus have for a nasty old thief like me? Oh, I serve King Jesus and he loves everybody, even thieves like you. Oh. And that's why serving the king is the noblest thing. <laughs> I would like to walk with you. Uh, do you think we might meet Jesus? I believe we are. Oh, wonderful. Uh, here we go. Violet, away we go. Tell us, children. 